In the past few videos on piano keyboard technique, we covered ways of practicing a C major scale and the seven sharp scales. That is, all the scales having from zero to seven sharps in the key signature for a total of eight major scales. Today, we move down the circle of fifths from C to the scales having flats in the key signature, beginning with F major. F major has one flat on the fourth degree, or Fa. Do, Re, Mi, Fa. This is the B flat, which is the original flat since flats were invented during the medieval and Renaissance style periods. The B flat is actually the reason our modern flat sign looks sort of like a lowercase letter B. The flat sign lowers the note B by a chromatic semitone. B flat. The left hand of F major scale is similar to the fingering we used in C, G, D, A, and E major. The standard fingering for the right hand of F major is a little different. See if you can figure out why the right hand of F major has to use a fingering unlike all the other scales we've learned so far. We'll try to use the usual fingering, starting from F. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. Notice that the fourth degree sounds a bit off. It's because the semitone of the first tetrachord is in the wrong place. This is no longer a major scale, but rather one of the modes we learned about in the videos on how to compose a modal cantus firmus. If we change the right hand fingering, we can easily accommodate the B flat note, which returns the semitone to its proper location between the third and fourth scale degrees. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, and descending, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, and two octaves, just start an octave lower, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, and returning, How about the left hand? We mentioned that the left hand follows the same standard fingering of a scale we already know, C major. The only adjustment is that the new note, B flat, be played with finger number two of the left hand instead of B natural. We have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, and returning. One, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. For two octaves in the left hand, just keep going. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and one. Returning. One, four, three. Four, three, two, one, three, two, and one. At this time, it's not necessary to practice the scales with both hands together. However, it's necessary to practice the tonic triad, both as block chords in rhythm and arpeggios. Now let's review. F major, right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and one. Returning, one, four.
and left hand. One, two, chords. arpeggios. Now a large portion of each day's practice should include a sizable review and not be limited to working on just the newest lesson or technique. Students should review each of the previous scales in turn with the standard fingering as well as the tonic triads and arpeggios. The latest scales and chords say the last three scales learned should be played every day even if you feel you already know how to play them. You don't. Not until the fingering becomes automatic, second nature, as fluent as speaking a sentence of words in your own language. Now here's a test. Can you play all the scales learned up to this point with the correct standard fingering we learned in either hand? You can? Good. Now here's a test. Play them that way again, but now with your eyes closed. Let us know how you do. Thank you for watching and listening.